I started bowling when I was 13 years old. While my father, my brother, and I, we were playing golf sa Camp Chanhe. Umula ng malakas. Tapos, we looked for a shelter. It turned out to be Mile High Bowling Center. And I asked my dad, ano yung larong yun? And he said, that's bowling. Then, since umula ng malakas na, di namin mapagpatuloy yung um, golf, I asked my dad, I pleaded my dad, Dad, pwede bang masubukan kahit na one or two games? So, the very first lesson I learned about being an athlete is that you're not born a champion. I remember score ko 60 plus lang in bowling. So, doon ko na laman na through practice, perseverance, yun ang kailangan ingredient to be a champion. So that's how I got into bowling by accident. I start ako full time right after our vacation in Baguio. My dad enrolled me in a junior league sa Coronado Lane yun, where Shangila Makati is. So mas nag-enjoy ako sa bowling and then father ko naman, he started playing bowling also. He started to read books, he became my coach, full-time coach. At 15, I learned that goal setting is important. I wanted to be the very best in our league. And then after that, my next goal was to become the best among the youth in the Philippines. And I won the Philippine Open Youth Championships at 15. From there on, my next goal was to become the best among adults. I became national champion at 17 youngest ever to become a national champion up to this uh, day uh, my record in the Philippine Open adult champion national champion um, I still hold that record started 70s as the first one to put the Philippines in the world bowling map in 1976 then in 80s we became a world power because it was not only myself but Bongku Lita De La Rosa, Ariane Sardinia won the Olympic gold as a demo sport. Naging world powers kami hanggang mga 90s. Then in 2000, we won a few more World Cups. Huli si Biboy Rivera, 2006. After that, medyo nag-downhill. So that's the history of our sport. So now, we're trying to work hard na may balik yung kung ano yung na-achieve namin nung araw, unti-unti. Sana akong aspiration, except for now, I have a different role. I'm the head coach of the Philippine National Men's and Women's Team, and my goal is to bring back the glory days of bowling. And slowly, this is my first year in coaching. I'm working very hard na Hopefully, my balik bowling to its rightful place. There's so much hard work to do, and we're working on that. It's a work in progress. I'm unlucky that my parents supported my career all throughout. Uh, what I remember my dad's advice is that you cannot be an athlete forever. So, sa sabi niya lagi na tapusin mo pag-aaral mo, which I was able to do. Kasi sinasabi niya, hindi man pwede maging atleta pang habang buhay ang isang atlete. So you have something to fall back on. So yun ang importante lesson na medyo strict siya. Uh, he allowed me to play but huwag pabayaan yung pag-aaral. Well, hindi ko na sasabihin nyo kasi alam naman ng buong Pilipinas at even ng buong mundo na si Peng is the greatest uh, bowling athlete. Kasi you know, four-time uh, champion siya in four decades, di ba? Uh, Pagkabesi siya naging World Cup champion and then he, he has earned so many uh, awards. In fact, he, he is now the ambassador, eh, di ba? Ng 